Hello viewers and welcome to another edition of the Woke Africa Show. My name is Ejewa and you know we do our best to bring you the best diasporan and Ghanaian news, African news, as and when we get our hands on it. Um, you know, this is so amazing because the year of return did not just end in 2019. Um, the government of Ghana led by you know his excellency nana adodankwa ekufu ado the president of ghana has launched beyond the return um the diasporan dividend and this is supposed to you know uh come up with several programs that is not just going to end it at visiting ghana but also to exploit the business opportunities that lies within ghana um it is also to further strengthen the you know the reconnection uh, between uh, African Americans and uh, and oh sorry the Africans in the diaspora, including African Americans and all Black people, you know, scattered across the globe, that you know, we are saying come back home, and it's not just for you to come and visit or to boost the tourism industry, but we wanted to go beyond that. So this uh, beyond the return was launched in Accra to say that uh, uh, you know there are business opportunities to take advantage of um, you know there, there are people to reconnect with um, looking at the socio-economic relationship between Africa and its diaspora for example the Chinese would always go back to China because they know that's their home the Indian will always go back to India because that's their own no matter what happens even if they get naturalized get uh, given birth to in another country they always know that back home is where their roots actually originate from so uh, Ghana seeks to you know uh, foster the same relationship between the year of return uh, sorry between the diasporans and then in the African continent Dr. Arikana is doing her best a lot of African people are doing their best to ensure that this happens so this event was hosted in Accra and the government, uh, uh, you know, communication department has put together an awesome video um, that I would like to share with you, um, you know, in a few minutes. I want to also tell you that if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and uh, please subscribe and, and click on the bell so that when I post new videos, you would have access to it and be able to enjoy the information that we share so this is the work africa show take a look at the compilation of this video and what the government of ghana continues to do thank you stay tuned we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. We will work together to make sure that never again will we allow a handful of people with superior technology to walk into Africa, seize our peoples, and sell them into slaves. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the newest Ghanaian. Fifteen months ago, on the 28th of September 2018, at the Washington Press Club in Washington, D.C., capital of the United States of America, in front of the Congressional Black Caucus of the United States Congress, I proclaimed 2019 as the year of return, commemorating the 400th anniversary 
of the time when the first 20 West African slaves were brought to the Commonwealth of Virginia, which subsequently became part of the United States of America, thereby initiating one of the most unfortunate and barbaric episodes of human history, the transatlantic slave trade. With 75% of the slave dungeons built on the west coast of Africa through which the slaves were transported, located in Ghana, we believed we had a responsibility to extend a hand of welcome back home to Africans in the diaspora. It was our hope that the year of return would be a joyful and learning experience all round for all of us on the continent and our kith and kin from the diaspora, especially in affirming our determination that never again should the African peoples permit themselves to be subjected to such dehumanizing conditions, sold into slavery, and have their freedoms curtailed. As we draw the curtains on this bold initiative, we should now look beyond the return and build on the dividends chalked. The time has come to engage Africans in the diaspora and all persons of African descent more positively in areas such as trade and investment cooperation and skills and knowledge development. The Ghana Tourism Authority, the implementing agency under Ghana's Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture, will be in the forefront of bringing all stakeholders together in what will be a focused drive at the empowerment of black people using Ghana as the hub. Let us all remember that the destiny of all black people, no matter where they are in the world, is bound up with Africa. We must help make Africa the place for investment, progress, and prosperity, and not from where our youth flee in the hope of accessing the mirage of a better life in Europe or the Americas. That is what Beyond the Return will seek to do, so we can derive maximum dividends from our relations with the diaspora in mutually beneficial cooperation and as partners for shared growth and development. History tells us of the positive impact of diasporan communities on the growth and development of countries through increased trade activities, rising investments, and the transfer of skills and knowledge. That is why I am excited and keen on this initiative, this new initiative of Beyond the Return and the renewed enthusiasm around building Africa together. Let us imbibe in ourselves a deep consciousness and understanding of the goals and history of the African peoples. The second half of the 20th century witnessed a great blow for human freedom and progress when the African peoples, in the wake of Ghana's shining example, liberated themselves from the colonial and imperialist yoke and the racist ideology of apartheid and emerged as free independent peoples to construct new nations of hope and advancement. The first half of the 21st century should consolidate this development and see the growth of modern, prosperous, technologically advanced nations within a united Africa, which would make a reality of the dream of the 21st century as the African century and break dignity and respect to black people all over the world. Thank you once again to all those whose contributions in diverse ways helped in making the year of return a success. And on this occasion, let me extend a special thanks to the British High Commission for its contribution to the organization of this event. Mr. High Commissioner Aiko let me say a big aquaba, a word of welcome to all of you. May God bless Mother Africa, black people everywhere, and us all. And may God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. I thank you.